Okay, let me just start that over. Um, but <laughs> welcome to my class, everyone. Um, I'm Chandler15, and today we are going to uh, take turns talking about our experiences with learning English. Because English is awesome. English is best language. No, no, I'm kidding. Every language is awesome. But, but yeah. So it's it's like Conversation Club, not exactly like Conversation Club, but you know it's very similar. So um, for a certain period of time, I will be you know calling people up on the stage, and you all will just answer the questions that. Oh yeah, and I have a guest uh, who's going to help me with this today. I'll call him up in a moment. But um, hold on, let me go back to the announcement. Okay, so you will all take turns answering the following questions. So here are the questions I want you guys to answer. So you're basically gonna be talking about yourselves. Like you're gonna tell me where are you, uh, where you're from, uh, uh, what your native language is, why you want to learn English, all that stuff. I really should have added those questions too. Hold on one moment. Let me just do that really fast. You understood 50% of what I said? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, 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 need, to, I need to speak more slowly. But what I'm going to do is no, I'm not mocking you. But if I were, to, but if I were to speak really, really slowly, then yeah, that would be mocking you. <laughs> is it my mic? I'm using. Oh, I hope my mic isn't. I just tested it. It seems fine. I don't know. Oh, it's fine. Okay, the mic is fine. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, hold on one moment. Let me finish this. <clears throat> uh, let's see where. Hold on. Okay, almost done. Yeah, I should be speaking more slowly. This is meant to be an intermediate class. I'll try to speak slowly enough for everyone to understand. Because if I speak like this, no one will understand. It's just really, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just totally kidding. I'm not going to speak like that. Don't worry. I won't speak like that. But anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, there. So answer these questions. Yeah, teacher went. <laughs> okay, but when you when I call you up on the stage, I want you to answer these questions. Where are you from? What's your native language? Why did you want? Oh, let me change that tense. Why do you want to learn English? When did you start learning English? How did you learn English? Like, did you study grammar? Did you have lessons? Did you watch YouTube videos? Did you play Fortnite? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What obstacles did you face while learning English? Did you make any friends with native speakers or fluent non-native speakers? And do you have... Yeah, let me pin that. I'm sorry. I'm so rusty with this stuff. I forgot you can pin these. Okay, pinned. Okay. And do you have any advice for other people who want to learn English? Yeah, I I'm so rusty with this English stuff. Uh, English class stuff. But anyway, let me go ahead and... Call Tony up to the stage. Come, Tony. Hello. Hey. Hi. What's up? Hello, everyone. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. How about you? You doing good. good? Yep. Perfect. I'll just be um helping, making sure everything is fine as well. 
good. I appreciate that. Thank you. No worries at all, of course. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, Tony's going to help me uh, run the classroom. So uh, today we're going to... Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna, just going to call on people to come up and speak about their experiences with learning English. So I'll start with this person. Hi. Yo. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Good. Okay, so uh, I'm Idris from uh, Tunisia. Hello, Idris. Uh, my native language is uh, Arabic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have a reason to learn English because we learn it in school. Oh, okay, that makes um, sense. Yeah. I started learning when I was like uh, uh, 10 or 11, 11 years. Oh, cool. When I was 11. Mm. And how old so, are you now, just out of curiosity? Yeah, I'm uh, 15 now. 15, okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I did have some problems in, uh, in learning English. First of all, it's uh, orthograph. Uh, and uh, speaking. No, you know when you imagine words in your mind and you can't uh, mm. and you can't speak it. Mm -hmm. Do you, when you think of these words in your mind, I'm, I'm assuming you think about them in Arabic, and then you translate them into English, no, and then you no, say, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, I, uh, I just. Uh, talk with English in my mind and then when uh, right. I want to speak it I can't you know that's really good by the way because when you're learning languages if you can think in the language as well um, that's really good it helps you improve your English really quickly yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's true yeah and just answer the question did you make any friends with native speakers or um, anything like that in this server in real life or anywhere really yeah yeah i i had some friends in uh in native speakers but uh it's a, a short friendship you know i i didn't mm. uh, last longer okay i mean when that's i play right. games and stuff you know mm. that's really good as well i love playing games with native speakers and things and that helps you improve your english and i'm assuming just the last question do you have any advice for other people um, you've obviously been learning for, what, three, four years now. Do you have any advice for other people wanting to learn English? Yeah. Or what do you think works? Go on, tell everybody. Okay, if you if you didn't start learning English, just start now. Uh, mm. It's never too late. Uh, I agree. <laughs> yeah, if you are uh, still learning it, just uh, keep learning. It's uh, It's a very mm. good language. It's easy to learn. And when you, you know, get advanced in it, you, mm -hmm. you will uh, know how to speak uh, with every single one <laughs> on the planet. That's really, really good advice. Um, that's really good. One question, though. What's the best way for you to learn English? If somebody was to ask you, what's your best way to learn English? Um, is it playing games, yeah, reading, talking no, to no, people? No, no, no. Not play. Wait. Uh, playing games is uh, is good, but it's not mm -hmm. enough. Uh, I mean, when you start watching a film with the subtitles on, mm -hmm. you will uh, you will uh, listen, and you will see how the words. Uh, mm. um, I said how written. the words, yeah, mm -hmm. written. Yes. <laughs> yeah, really good. I like that. I really like your advice. Yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, thank you for sharing. Thank you for coming on. It's very brave. Anybody that comes up here and speaks to, we've got over a hundred people here, um, so that's really good. And if anyone else wants to speak, you just put your hand up, and then obviously you can come in here. Thank you for coming in. Very brave okay, of you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. No worries at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next person. Mm -hmm. and... He was good. Yeah, he Good was. start. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello, Hi. Elon. 
uh, I need to ask uh, answer what question can you uh, is it pinned any yeah anywhere? it's pinned yeah, yeah. In classes chat, In, just look at the most recent pinned. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Where are you from? Where am I from? Uh, I'm from Ukraine. My native language mm. is uh, Russian. Oh, cool. Uh, I want to learn English. Um, I want to improve my speaking because um, my writing is pretty good. For my pur purposes, but speaking uh, is not enough, and uh, I want to learn it. Um, for um, for I'm I'm a pro pro programmer, and I want to improve it uh, for job for my job. For your job to get uh, better opportunities and things. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I started uh, learning English at primary school um, and then I got uh, my level uh, at uh, at university I, I continued to improve it at university and mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I improved my writing but uh, not speaking and that's what I'm trying to do now I'm trying to have <clears throat> speaking skills. Yeah, no, that's fine. I get that. Yes. Um, uh, how am I? How do I learn English? Um, I uh, I learned um, some basic grammar. Uh, I, I actually repeated some mm -hmm. re reminders some um, uh, basic uh, uh, grammar from British Council uh, website mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for uh, listening um, uh, vocabulary speaking skills uh, I use uh, watching movies and uh, mm -hmm. listening music and so on Mm. Did you have any sort of obstacles when you were learning the language at all? Any difficulties and things like that? Mm. Maybe mm, these obstacles are related to difference between uh, my native native language and mm -hmm. uh, English, how they work. My f um, my recent my mo the most recent. Uh, issue I've uh, faced uh, I faced uh, was uh, learning um, conditionals uh, mm -hmm. I mean uh, third conditionals mixed condition conditional other pretty easy but uh, mixed and thirds uh, uh, don't work as in my native uh, Oh, yes, yeah, so I, I I need to use to use to it. That makes sense. And I think another issue that you potentially face is uh, the use, like how articles are used. Um. Yes. Maybe. Maybe the this one of um, I, I think it's maybe habit. I, I know how they work uh, uh, a bit, uh, basic rules, but uh, but uh, sometimes I I can um, forget uh, forget uh, when to use it. I mean, in speaking, uh, just uh, okay. just in speaking. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, with yeah. regards to friends, and if you've got any advice for the people wanting to learn the language, um, uh -huh. do you have any advice? Have you made any native friends and things? Actually, um, I don't have any 
native speakers or something. I have only friends who are trying to learn English as, as me. And uh, I think in my level I can't give advices because um, uh, I'm not uh, so good. That's okay. You've obviously learned English and you can communicate and talk. Um, what What's the best tool that thing, do you think that's helped you? Uh, I know you've mentioned watching movies. Do you think that was the best way for you to learn English or uh, could it have been something else? Um, I think it's the best way to uh, learn new vocabulary and new uh, constructions uh, mm -hmm. that you can't maybe um, find in just speaking with uh, people with uh, same level as you uh, and and I mm -hmm. I like to watch um, movies with um, um, with um, slang and uh, with um, uh, with simple English, not uh, I mean, uh, not uh, something from the past, uh, like if you know Picky Blinders. Uh, I do they, know the Picky Blinders. Yes. Yes, they use a bit um, old English and with mm. some accents that they that they are not popular now. Yeah. So. Mm. Very good, very good advice as well. Watching shows and things like that, that's always uh, very helpful, especially to people that aren't native. Um, yeah. The last person gave the same advice, so I would agree with you there, yeah. Yeah, that was, that's a very helpful way to learn English. Just watch as much content uh, that in which native speakers, you know, talk because that's really going to help. From what I've heard, like, I believe Friends is a really popular show for English learners. So, that, so, for anyone who wants to watch TV shows, that, that could be a good place to start. And of course, there's also mm. Big Bang Theory as well. So, but yeah. Um, for me, it's so, uh, mainstream thing that, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like this yeah, style. It's too mainstream. That's but okay. I think any any sort of shows that has um, English speakers in it, you can watch with subtitles and, and all of that. It it just gets you uh, gets your mind into thinking um, in English. It gets you reading in English. It gets you listening in English. Because when you're watching a TV show, not only are you watching English speakers speak, you're hearing them and you're also reading English. If you're obviously doing it with subtitles, it's two or three things you're doing at the same time um, so that can help you a lot so some people prefer reading but you're only reading then but or some people like watching something when you watch something with subtitles you're doing reading and listening at the same time um, so it saves you time but it gets the, both of the benefits in so I think watching stuff is a really good idea um, you watch Picky Blinders with subtitles that's fine the last person watches another show with subtitles so I agree I think that's one of the best tips that I would have and I agree it's the same thing that you've said as well. Uh, I'd like to advise also maybe one of mm -hmm. uh, movies I watched. Uh, that's uh, mm, Shrek. Uh, oh, Shrek! <laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> they they yeah. really uh, I think uh, have uh, um, simple English which yeah. is used by. <laughs> mm -hmm. In, no, I agree. Like what? Because those are made for life. children, so it's made for a young audience. So yes, they would yes. use very simple English. Um, I, that's a really good. I've never thought about that. That's very good. So if you watch um, like TV shows or movies made for children for younger audiences, like cartoons and animations and things, that those movies will have very simple uh, English in it to understand, and you can you know you can pick up on it very quickly. That's really good. I'm actually going to tell that to more people. I've never thought about that like this. I actually used that strategy myself. Like, mm. I used Peppa Pig to learn Spanish and German. So, yeah. 
So yeah, because they would yeah. use very simple English, like, yeah. very simple um, Spanish and things. Yeah, that's so clever. That's really clever. Thank you, Elon, for coming up here and telling us that to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. No worries. Look after yourself. Take care. Got so many listeners in. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring the next person in. Okay, uh, one moment. Uh, let me view to the audience. Oh, uh, before we move on to the next person, guys, it's okay if you don't uh, speak perfect English. No one's expecting you mm-hmm. to. It's okay to make mistakes. So don't worry about that. Definitely. And I obviously not everyone's reading the chat or anything, but I said this before. It's so much better for you to come here on stage, on Discord, when nobody knows you and you're anonymous, to make a mistake than to do it in person when it might be a little bit more embarrassing. It's so much better to practice your English on here, on stage, on Discord, with lots of people from everywhere. And that's going to help you with your confidence so much to be able to speak English in person in front of other people. So I think this is a great idea. You should definitely, um, even if you're not the most perfect English speaker, I don't think many people in this um, in this stage are. So I think you should come up, talk a little bit, get it, get it over with, and then you build up that confidence to do it more and more until you're confident enough to do it in person with other people, with native speakers. And that's how you build it up. You practice, and that's what, um, it sounds so cliche, but perfect, um, practice does make perfection. To do it, practice as much as you can. Yeah, so focus less on trying to sound perfect and more on just trying Mm. to communicate your message. It's okay if you make mistakes. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next person, Mage. Hello, Mage. Hello, everyone. Hello to the host. Hello. Just answer the questions when you're ready, Mage. You guys can hear me? Yeah, Yeah, we can hear you perfectly fine. Okay, all right. Yeah, hello. Uh, Well, my nickname is Mage. (laughs) And uh, I'm living right now in Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, I was was born and raised in Germany, and uh, I've been taught uh, German and English. Uh, mm-hmm. So I have a dual first language acquisition, oh, and cool. I think I can That's I can nice. really learn a little bit more. So I think I'm <clears throat> intermediate, but um, mm-hmm. I want to improve myself. That's why I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah, regarding um, the questions um, that are yeah. pinned, um, mm-hmm. you've answered like, so many of them already yeah. <laughs> 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 without okay. even reading them. <laughs> yeah, I answered number one, two, three, four. Mm. Oh no! Uh, when did you start learning English? Well, I was born here in Germany, and uh, my mm. my dad had, had uh, spoken to me in English and my mom in German. So I picked mm. a lot up from from the well from from the day of my birth. Okay. And the uh, both skills, of your parents German, by the way. I just wanted to quickly no, no, ask. No, just one. Uh, my mom is okay. German, and my dad is American. Oh, okay. Right, and that would make sense then. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. And since I'm uh, living my whole life here in Germany, my mm-hmm. my German is better than my English, and I think I sh- should improve a little bit more in English. So I thought it's mm-hmm. hard for coming here and just practice speaking with you guys. Okay, mm-hmm. so you're like a heritage speaker in a sense. I think that's what you call people like that. Um, yeah. If you exactly, if you have. A dual first language, yes. Mm. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So, but I got, I really got um, uh, high standards up for myself, and I want to improve and get um, my my standard of speaking a little bit better because there are sometimes I, I'm trying to grab for words, um, like right now, <laughs> um, but um, I think I have my vocabulary. Read and read and learn some more vo- vocabularies, and that brings me to the uh, question: What, what I, what, 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 
advice I have for other people in learning English. That would be um, there's a there's a book which 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 I read uh, that is called GRE Essential Words from Baron. Um, and there are a lot of words in there. Um, and I'm looking at a um, 800 word list that you should know if you want to have a little bit more vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So I could recommend that book. Um, yeah. What is it called again? Just so everyone um, listening. Well, it's from knows. from from Baron. Uh, it's spelled mm -hmm. B A R R O N. Um, mm -hmm. That's not any advertisement here from from, from me. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to advertise advertise. It's, it's just help yeah. help me. It's helped uh, you. So yeah, no, that's understandable. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's from Barons, and and the book is called G R E Essential Words. Anybody who wants to have the um, exact um, ISBN number, I, I don't mm -hmm. know if that's the right word to call it, the, the book ID or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. um, I can provide that through private chat anybody's interested well that helped me a lot mm -hmm. it's always good to learn the most um, spoken words in a language I think because that helps you those are the words that are used the most common amongst speakers in day-to-day -day languages day-to-day uh, -day communication sorry and once you know those basic things then you can at least have a conversation with a with a different person and then you can build up on top of that so the book idea is really good learning the essential words the most common words in a language and then going from there so i that's really good advice as well exactly so, uh, mm -hmm. maybe uh, asking about asking asking about your advice uh, towards mm -hmm. my ability to speak english uh, how would you rate it your English, well, think of it this way. I'm a native speaker. I I understood everything you've said. And I'm assuming you've understood everything I've said. We can communicate and we can talk. So already you're doing better than so many people that are learning English, that are unable to communicate properly, unable to uh, voice their you know opinions and, and thoughts and things like that. You've been able to do that really well. And I think you're... I w Give it a little bit more time, and I think you can go on to become a fluent speaker. I know you say you're an intermediate at the moment, but I can I, I understood everything you said. You've understood what I've said. We can communicate effectively. I feel like if we've talked more, we can talk about deeper topics without having a language barrier between us. Now, that could be because your father is American and you were taught English from a very young age, and that's fine. I mean, some of us have... Um, luck and we can get parents that are you know native english speakers but even then i've met so many people on this server that don't have english parents that are self-taught and they've learned english really well are fluent speakers within two three years that's because they've you know spent a lot of time they've spent time talking to people and i know so many people in, in the stage are afraid of coming up because they might not be confident and things like that but the best thing that you can do to yourself is come up here and talk to people and you don't have to do it here you can just do it any other voice chats in the server just go and talk to people uh, listen to them communicate with them write read and listen and you're going to be so much better because of it so just do it don't think too much about oh what if i embarrass myself what if i forget a word what if i don't know what they're saying it's okay you're learning a new language you're learning a second third fourth language it's wonderful the fact that you're learning a different language to what you're used to so don't think of it as a negative thing think of it as a positive thing you're improving yourself um so never be afraid to speak to somebody just because you think you might not be able to understand them or you might not be able to communicate your thoughts effectively to them just do it that's that's the best advice I can give. Just do it. Don't think about it too much. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your advice. Uh, I will re I will remember that and uh, thank you for for um, setting this up for today. No, no worries at all. Don't thank me. It wasn't me that set this up. I just came here to help. All right. All right. Thanks you. Th uh, thank you guys. No problem. Mm -hmm. No worries at all. Thank you so much for coming up. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's see. Let's do that. And who? Rima, I believe you are next. Come on up. Yeah, I think Rima has been wanting to come out. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Rima. Everyone. Hi. <laughs> uh, before I start, just I want to. Okay. Hello, I hope uh, all of you, uh, you are okay and you are in good mood. Uh, firstly, I am Rima. I am from Saudi Arabia. Actually, I'm from Kuwait City. Uh, my, I have two language, Arabic and English, but uh, my native language is Arabic. Mm -hmm. I want to learn uh, to improve myself in English language because now uh, I just finished my final exam on advanced uh, level uh, and I um, care about uh, the English exam uh, after two days for uh, core. Uh, and I want to improve my speaking because when I speak, uh, speak in the lessons or exams, I don't speak like that. But I just uh, I I nervous, I shy because I think I thinking about uh, the time and my grade. That's why I want uh, to improve my language uh, here. Uh, I start to learn English uh, before two years, actually, when the pandemic started and the whole world. Uh, I take a beginner, uh, sorry about that. I take a beginner uh, course and intermediate course uh, when the studying was on online. Uh, but when I in intermediate, I fail it and I learned again uh, uh, in this year. Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, and the studying was sometimes in the classroom and sometimes it was online. I learned English uh, in and the uh, English school uh, for college, uh, for my university, sorry, uh, to start my college. Uh, and also I learned uh, and discard sometimes, uh, or I speak with my friends. Uh, they have the uh, same, same native language uh, with me, but they love speaking English more than their native language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, what about the advice? Do you have any advice for people that are wanting to learn English? Uh, if someone uh, was just maybe starting out, someone that might not be um, as good at English as you are, what helped you to learn English in the best way? The best way you learn English, mm -hmm. uh, when you want to learn anything uh, other than language, uh, when you start, uh, uh, they will be hard. But when you learn from your uh, uh, your mistakes, you will be uh, you will improve yourself uh, of anything in this life. Uh, actually, uh, they have. Uh, you know, uh, now uh, you are in technology, um, technology um, time, and uh, you can improve yourself about uh, the apps to learn English. Uh, some of them are free. For example, you know, uh, a Grammarly uh, app. It's a very good app to improve your grammar and. Um, uh, the the way how to write some words and that's it yeah that can grammarly 
good app as well. Yes. I'm a native speaker and I still use Grammarly. I don't know if um, uh, Chiman, do you also use uh, Grammarly or am uh, I the only person using it? It's uh, very, good, very like useful. It is. It's useful. Yeah, it's I don't. Useful. I don't use it much though. Like I've only used it a handful of times. Yeah, but it's it's something that I've uh, found that helps a lot of people. It. I use it still. It's amazing. If you just go on Google Chrome and write Grammarly, you can get it, and it's a really good app. It's if you're writing something, it can help you fix your spelling. It can help you fix your grammar. It sometimes tells you where to put the comma, where how you can change the word, make it sound better. So if you do all of that, I think that's a it's it's a good guide basically. It tells you exactly how to write your English and things like that. So that's also a really good advice, I would reckon. Um, if you just go search up Grammarly on Google and you'll find what it is. It's a good extension to have if you're improving your English, even if you're a native speaker like myself. I use Grammarly and it helps a lot. So good advice. Yeah. Uh, thank you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for listening. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Okay. Thank you for coming up, by the way. Yes, thank Does you. Does Grammarly help fix my heart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good I'm point. afraid it's not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be repaired. No. <laughs> <laughs> Invite you, Sherry. Come on up. Okay. Oh, hello, Sherry. Hey. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah we can. How hear are you? you? Good. How are you? We're wonderful. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. So I am Egyptian. Uh, I was for the first uh, 12 years I think of my life uh, I was raised in Saudi Arabia so uh, in Egypt basically if you're in Egypt uh, you learn English in kindergarten so I didn't like the other kids but my mom was uh, an English teacher so she made uh, made sure that uh, I learn English from uh, from since the third grade, uh, grade I think Yes, uh, she started uh, to teach me, uh, so I can be behind the other kids in my country. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but did but you have uh, a personal reason for learning English as well, or did you just do it because your mother wanted you to? <laughs> no, she made <laughs> no. Uh, actually, she uh, she made me love uh, the uh, the language. I didn't hate it at all. Oh God. Uh, so we will, we sat together and watched shows in English. And when I started to uh, learn how to read and uh, read, I watched the subtitles. Then I mm. was practicing uh, slowly to understand the, the words with the subtitles, then without the subtitles. So I can now I spend, understand everything uh, correctly. Good. Good, good. That's nice. My problem is with uh, the enunciations, and I get a little, a little nervous when I speak. I is it, is, do you get nervous speaking to everybody, or is it usually native speakers? Because I feel like people that are beginner English or just starting to learn English, they get quite nervous talking to people who are natives or fluent or somebody that just might know English better than them. Or is it yeah. to just get nervous speaking English in general? It doesn't really matter who it is. English in general. So I, I think I'm sometimes pr pronouncing words uh, incorrectly, so mm. I get nervous about that. Okay, that, that's completely normal as well. When you're learning a new language and when you're among because people spent, that you don't necessarily spent, know. Mm -hmm. I spent all Go my on. life uh, learning the grammar right and writing, mm -hmm. uh, listening, but the speaking didn't uh, didn't learn at all. So okay, no, that's completely fine. And as you um, learn more English and you communicate with people and things like that, that nervousness that you have is going to go away. So 
you know, don't worry about yeah. that too much. What I would just recommend is talk to more people. Um, yeah, it's that's like why I'm here. people, yeah, exactly. But that's wonderful, right? That you're not afraid to speak up, even though you know you're gonna be nervous. You're not afraid of doing the thing that makes you nervous because the more you do it, the more your body is going to get used to it, and it will be like, wait, hold on. I've done it so many times, I'm used to it, I don't need to be nervous anymore. So I'm completely fine, this is a normal setting for me. To just get your body used to the idea of doing things it's not wanting to do, like um, speaking to a bunch of people, speaking in English, being nervous, um, and people with like social anxiety and things like that as well. The best way to get rid of that is to talk to people, is to make your body um, get used to the idea of being around people and then you basically trick it, really. You bamboozle it into thinking that it's all right. And then uh, it's it's just going to get used to the idea and you'll be completely fine. So I'm really glad you came up here, by the way. Yeah, me too. Very brave of you. Do you Thank have you. any tips, just before you go, do you have any tips for new uh, English speakers? I think what made it easy for me uh, was uh, watching shows in English. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. practice slowly. Uh, watch with, uh, with the subtitles first. Uh, mm -hmm. And try to connect the uh, the subtitles with uh, with listening to the words uh, correctly. Uh, then, mm -hmm. then try to uh, use English sub subtitles. Then without subtitles mm -hmm. at all. That's really really. And see, you can almost see the progression, right? So you first start off listening to English with subtitles in Arabic, I would assume, and then you do it in English, and then you do it with no subtitles at all. And you can see the progression, you can see yourself getting better and better. Um, yeah. That's incredible. That's really good. And I know shows and watching shows with subtitles have helped so many people. Somebody just asked in, in the um, channel, is there a TV show best for beginnings? What show did you watch, if you don't mind sharing it with people? I really work, uh, like watching Friends and The Office uh, right Friends now. Friends and The Office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but since as I was little, I uh, I watched Harry Potter all the time. Mm -hmm. so, okay. And not a f I'm not the biggest fan of Harry Potter, favorite. but yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Friends, Friends is very common amongst <laughs> people that are learning English, I've noticed, yeah. just today. Um, okay. Okay, thank you so much for coming up and sharing that. But yeah, yeah it was yeah. Friends, she said Friends and... Which was the, the other office. one, sorry? The, the office. office, yeah, so Friends and The Office. Uh, the English version of The Office or the American version? I watched The American version. The American, oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I nice. didn't know there was an English version. <laughs> I didn't know either. There is, there's an English version <laughs> and an I American know. one. I didn't know that. I should go watch yeah. the first version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I've not watched. I've not watched either of them. I just know that there is both of them. No, it's um, a nice show, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming up here. Very yeah. brave of you. And before you actually go, before yeah. you came here, you felt nervous. Do you feel a lot better having come up here, talk to us, and now that you've gotten all over with? Was it easier than you thought it would be? Yeah. Definitely. Okay, good. I just wanted everyone else to hear that as well. It's It looks and sounds very scary before you come up here, but once you're over and done with it, it's like, oh, that was so easy. What was I worrying about? So don't worry about it. Everyone else. I think I, I, I speak with myself, but without, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, with myself uh, in a low voice. So I'm uh, mm -hmm. always afraid to talk in front of other people. That's a pro the problem. For somebody I wonder, that's afraid, I Jerry, you've done incredible. Yeah, I wonder, I I speak with myself li really good and mm -hmm. nothing like this, but uh, I'm, I'm practicing it. No, I'm, 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 I'm very proud of you for coming up here and yeah, talking thank to you. us. You've done incredible. Well done. Thank you. No worries. Good job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Chicken. Okay, uh, let's see. You, there was one person that kept asking me to bring them up, otherwise they might have a heart attack. Uh, Yumu Konpaku, I think their name is. And they said their heart is racing too fast. Oh, <laughs> I think I saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. 
Don't worry, everyone. I'm trying to go through this list as fast as I can. There are a lot of people here. Okay. Go ahead, Golden Wind. It is your turn. Finally. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Hi, anyways. Um, hello. I think this is my first time being on, on, on your classes. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is my first time. So nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'm all coming. Hi. Uh, hello, uh, to Tony, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, Tony, that's right, yeah. yes. Yeah, so... Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and ask those questions. Uh, where, where am I from? I'm from Asia, specifically from Georgia. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little country, and not a lot of people know about it. And it's like still a little country. Yeah. So uh, my native language is Georgian, uh, of course, because I'm from Georgia. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm from mm -hmm. Tbilisi. Yeah. Uh, and the third question: Why? Why do I want to learn English? And yeah, because I wanna. I uh, thank you. <laughs> I I wanna go to um, Canada because no, that's my. Uh, that's the place I want to go at, especially uh, Calgary. It's uh, one of the country. I mean, cities in Canada. And is it I a cold go one? Is it a yeah, cold well, city? Do you know? I don't know. Really, maybe. maybe I don't, I don't okay. think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I started le learning English almost uh, six years ago, but I started speaking it almost two years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm still an underage. I'm still 15, so yeah, yeah. So you started quite young then. Um, yeah, I that's did. That's good. It's always good to start learning as young as you can be. So yeah, um, that's good. Yeah, kind of. I think <laughs> it, it'd be hard, you know, because um, motivation, like kids, uh, lose motivation most of the time. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, and they quit. So yeah. And I learned I learned English um, the first time I learned I heard about about English uh, with my mom. She she taught me like she helped me um, make my first dialogue between me and my neighbor, and then I learned it. Mm -hmm. And but dialogue uh, wasn't the best uh, because it, I was still started. I was like six years old when I first spoke English, and mm -hmm. and then. Uh, and then I, I watched the movies and I mastered the accent accent I was going for uh, I'm mostly going for a Canadian accent because I, I like I like Canada so hard like you don't, you don't know how much I like you want to live there as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um, what oh wait how, how do I pronounce this uh, obstacles right Obstacles, yeah, so like Obstacles. difficulties oh, yeah. that you might have had, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, the difficulties uh, I faced while I was learning English was uh, mostly uh, most of the, uh, some of the people like from Romania uh, having mm -hmm. American parents and in a, in a like anything they're American and then they and then they're making fun of my accent and I dislike someone making fun of my accent mm -hmm. because because of because of their ego and their like um, you know their ego basically yeah mm -hmm. or something like that yeah and in my accent my accent was so bad like I don't know I just I didn't like my accent I know like any accent mm -hmm. every accent is good but I just my opinion on it was bad like uh, very bad yeah um so uh, then there was only two uh, obstacles I I faced while I was learning English mostly and grammar too but it's it's not a big problem yeah so I, I and the seventh question I made I made friends mm -hmm. uh, with native speakers and uh, I'm still friends with native speakers and I speak with them like every day daily because they're, they're my friends and there's some of the native speakers in my country too, uh, but uh, they're, they're so far away. So I, I just uh, I, I gotta like uh, I visit them 
almost uh, maybe like once in GR, I think. And they're pretty cool. And they're from and they're from the UK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the last one. Uh, do, do I have any ad advice uh, for other people who want to learn English? I actually do. So, uh, once I speak in English, and yeah, like uh, trying to um, trying to get better at grammar or mm -hmm. speaking, I uh, start slowly, and then uh, by the time you speed up, you speed up your uh, speed, uh, you're talking. By uh, talking in a speed ain't uh, uh, how to say ain't important, uh, you know, because it just gotta make the people understand your uh, speaking. And not tell you speak because uh, you want to show show off your speaking skills or whatever mm -hmm. whatever you're aiming for while speaking fast. So uh, and while re learning grammar, I suggest yeah, um, hanging out uh, with the people that know English at a pretty mm -hmm. uh, good level, and and then they're gonna use a lot of words that you ha haven't heard about before, and then you, you gotta search it up on Google and. Uh, you're mm -hmm. gonna find out uh, what the word means. So, and you, you gotta increase your vocabulary, or just watching the movies and searching up the words that, that you do know, you, uh, and you don't know. Uh, but sometimes, you know, uh, I I know some of the uh, meanings of the words, but not correctly. So sometimes I search up the words I don't fully understand on Google, and then I I get I get what it means, and I use it mm -hmm. more correctly. So I'm not gonna make yeah. people confused, and you know, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I not understand easy. that completely. That's fine. There was one person in the chat asking what you did to um, learn the Canadian accent. Do you have any tips with regards to that at all? I know you mentioned watching movies and doing it that way, but do you have oh. any other tips other than watching movies and listening to the way that they talk? I watched some YouTube movies, and I mean, not not movies. I mean, um. Um, channels tips. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, channels. Okay. Yeah, tips mm -hmm. and tricks mostly, and understood uh, what what ways uh, the Americans or the Canadian people mostly use to uh, make their accent sound like a native, like American. You know, mm -hmm. but okay. I don't actually have uh, the American accent in my opinion. Like I'm still going for it. I'm still moving forward, somehow. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, I yeah. suggest yeah, uh, watching uh, YouTube tricks and tip uh, tips and tricks. And watching the movies because uh, when I watch uh, when I watch the movies, I understood the accent mm -hmm. and understood the way uh, they said the word. And okay. I, yeah, and I know the pronunciation of it uh, into the American accent. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's fine as well. That's understandable. I would um, for the people and things like that as well. From personal experience, when I might be learning a new language, I put all of my attention and my focus on first learning the language and then thinking about how I can improve my accent to sound more like the locals. But um, if you do it the other way, if you want to learn the accent and then the language, that's completely fine as well. But I think it's more important to first be able to talk in the language that you're wanting to study, for in this case, English. Yeah. Uh, and then you can focus your attention once you've gotten good at that, once you're fluent and are able to communicate well enough, then focus your attention on um, the accent and things like that, because that's not the most important thing. Your accent can be perfect, but if you don't, can't speak to another person, then what's the point of having a great accent? You know what I mean? So first focus yeah. your attention on being able to talk, being able to get fluent in the language, and then the accent, that comes later and that comes naturally uh, once you get to know more people and you talk to them and things like that. So focus your attention on the language rather than how you sound and what your accent might be like. Because yeah. you might think, so personally, you might think that your accent isn't as good, but some people might be like, oh, that's an amazing accent. I love the way that you sound. You sound like you're from this place, that place. You sound amazing. You know what I mean? Like To yourself, you don't like the sound of your own voice, but so many others might do. Don't focus on that. Focus on what's important, and that's learning the language and getting good at that. Yeah, that's right. It's basically uh, mm -hmm. choose quality over quantity or something like that. I yeah, think. Definitely. yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. it's true because 
I mean, you honestly, you don't need a perfect accent when you're when you want to speak a target language. It's not important. The important thing is that you be understood. That's the important thing, not yeah. mm-hmm. sounding perfect. So, hundred percent. Your pronunciation is more important than the um, the accent in itself. As long as you're understood by a different person, don't worry about the accent at all. Yeah. Yeah, not necessarily right. Yeah, just focus on being able to communicate. That's the thing you need to focus on. A hundred percent. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, but uh, whenever uh, like uh, I, I have some friends who have uh, have like uh, experienced like uh, when it, uh, the time they were speaking uh, with a native speaker, okay, and then mm. and then they spoke, and then they showed their accent off, okay, like mm. and, and just showed them. And they, had, and they had an accent, and then the native speaker asked them uh, where they where they were were from, and then they like mm-hmm. they they got to be nervous because they didn't actually want to s- sound like he had an accent. So just also don't uh, whatever Tony and uh, Chai Mian I think right. Uh, Chi Mian, but it's okay. Oh Chi Mian, oh yeah, mm-hmm. Tony and Chi Mian said just. Don't mind your accent because it's even gonna get, get you nervous. Uh, yeah. Just, just to fo- focus uh, on your pronunciation and that is, uh, yeah. and then after you improve your pronunciation, you can uh, fo- focus on your accent. If I want to, if you're not uh, cool uh, with, with your accent, and yeah, just. Mm-hmm. It's not just about the nervousness, it's about the fact that when you're focusing on your accent, there's an extra thing that you have to worry about in your head. You're like, okay, am I am I communicating well with the other person? But now I also have to think about my accent. Am I getting that right? So free yourself of those things and just focus on being able to communicate well and be, being able to actually talk the language. Um, and the accent that will come later by itself naturally let's let it take its course focus on learning the language instead yeah, yeah. that's right mm-hmm. also like don't um uh, how to say wait so don't uh think um uh, whenever you're having a conversation uh, with a guy uh, like in english mm-hmm. on discord or uh irl in real life uh, you don't, you don't, you don't gotta think uh, about the way you speak uh, mm. your native language. Like how to say? Mm. I don't know. My grammar sucks. <laughs> no exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's a bit hard to like uh, make the people understand you if if your grammar sucks too. So mm. just don't so. think. Uh, Man, how to say it? You know, I never mind. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, no, no, don't think too much about the accent is a general tip here, I would assume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly. Mean, like, oh, go ahead. I'll let you. I right, thank you. Uh, I do know like how to link it, like uh, link the words together to make a perfect grammar. So, yeah, to make a good grammar at least. So, I, I don't know how, I don't really know how to say it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just never mind that. No, that's okay. Don't worry about a single thing. Thank you so much for coming up here and giving yeah, us that tip as well. The No, no problem. But yeah, don't focus on the accent. Focus on learning the language. That's more important than the accent in itself. Good tip. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Tony and Chimia and Spirit and Facts, listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, no I'm worries. Thank you so much again for coming in, Golden. No uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Take too. Care. No problem. Take care. Bye. Bye. Um, so before we continue, one disclaimer: we're not we're not really telling you to just like you know, just intentionally develop a bad accent or anything like that. We're just saying that mm-hmm. you know having a perfect accent shouldn't be your biggest priority. Like we're not mm-hmm. like you should focus on communicating first and. Whatever comes later, like accent, grammar, whatever, you can improve on that later. Just focus on being able to communicate first. Yeah. Or if you're obviously writing English, focus on being able to write properly and things like that. Yeah. The accent is not as important as a lot of people think. Um, 
Yeah. It's just it's just how people speak. It, if you've got an English accent, people can know that you're from England, but that's not that important. Um, if no one can understand you, then obviously it's a problem and things like that. But when you try and fake accent as well, a lot of natives will be able to pick up on it when you're yeah. trying to fake an accent. And that that's a little bit more embarrassing when you're trying to pretend to be something you're not. So don't focus on the accent, I don't think. Focus on just communicating. Yeah. Yeah. It's always better to be more authentic than to pretend like you're something that you're not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to... Speaking yeah. of accents, what's your favorite accent? Um, do you have one? Do you listen to one and you're like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, do you not have any? I've got one, I know my answer, and I'll tell you in a moment, but do you have any? Um, honestly, I just really like, uh, I just really like, uh, the English accent, it's just, I just love it, <laughs> it's so good. Another person said the English, the Scottish, what's everyone else's favourite accent as well, let's see what everyone <laughs> says. Mine personally is French, and I know so many French people that hate their accents. But I'm like, it's so attractive. I don't know why, but I find the French accent so attractive. It Someone was... just said yours. <laughs> <laughs> Russian, English, American, Indian, American and English. My favorite accent is yours. Brazilian, Scottish, North Korean. That's a new one. I've not, I don't think I've heard anyone say that. Australian is another one. Oh, look, someone's French in the chat. <laughs> Italian is really good. Yeah. Italian's really good. Russian. Russian's quite nice. Russian sounds quite aggressive, though. Is that just me? <laughs> no, it's not I feel you. like Russian's quite aggressive. It's, yeah, it's not just you. It's just how they're... And some of them are quite nice people as well. Um, yeah. Look, see, look. Bailey just said he's... Oh, she's French. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know your gender. But Bailey just said that they're uh, French, but they hate their accent. They're, it's the worst accent in English. Oh. I was just saying earlier on how you might hate your accent, but there's so many other people that love your accent. And I love the French accent. And I have not met a single French person that says that they like their accent. I love French people speaking English in their accent. I like it too. It just... <laughs> Look, so many people say they're French and they don't like their accent. I love the French accent. It sounds so... I don't want to say elegant, but it just sounds so nice. Such a nice accent to hear. It is. Mm -hmm. Let's bring up the next person. Okay. The UK, the UK. <laughs> <laughs> hey, food. Okay, you may come up. Oh, look, finally a French person that likes their accent. Oh, Hello. look. Hello. I hope Hi. you didn't have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Um, sorry, <laughs> my heartbeat is going through the roof. No, you're uh, fine. You're uh, I, fine. Think I, I think I'm going to die. No. You, I, um, we're, I very much hope you're uh, done. Yeah, please. Where should I start? Uh, just tell us, like, where you're from and what your native language is. So, my native language is French, and I'm from Corsica. It's a little <laughs> island, just, uh, just, how can I say it? Yeah. Just under France, if you look at the map. Do you want me to make the French accent? Yes. <laughs> so, hello, my name is Valentini Saint-Pierre, and I make the French accent while speaking English. <laughs> uh, uh, I, guess you, I guess you like this accent because I don't know. Uh, I <laughs> 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 Sorry. Uh, I don't know if there are any reasons on why you like it, but uh, I, I think it, it, uh, it is settled up that way, and uh, your uh, brain tricks you into thinking the <laughs> French accent is good. <laughs> it's incredible, and I'm not the only person that thinks that. So many people in, in the chat are saying the exact However, same thing. However, we, for us, I mean, uh, French people don't think our accent is that good, uh, because... <laughs> what do you mean I remind you of Macron Jumpo? I don't see what you're talking about. So should I <laughs> sh should I start away with the question? Should I take back an, uh, an English accent Go or right. can I continue with you this can, accent? You can carry on with this one. I love this accent. 
I don't know what the questions are because my phone is dying when I go on the server. Oh, do you want me to, I'll tell you them and you can just answer them. So you've told uh, us yeah. where you're from already. <clears throat> you've already told us. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, you've already yeah, told I us your native language. So uh, I started learning English about six years ago in class, but I started learning English for real. When I really start speaking mm -hmm. English, uh, I'd say three years ago, I learned English from YouTube. I watched a lot of uh, English videos and a lot of films with English subtitles because it is really helpful to understand it. Uh, also, I, I, I'm coming here to um, <coughs> sorry to improve uh, my uh, my speaking skills because it's not really my strong point and it is really hard. Uh, I, I, I think that's all for this part. Uh, I, I'm gonna die in a few moments right now <laughs> because uh, <laughs> my You're doing is getting so well. I, I don't You're think doing I'm doing so well actually. You I don't are. even You're doing know incredible. if there are other questions. Okay, yeah, let me let me ask you the questions and you can answer okay. but you're doing so well. Carry on doing it as, as you have. How did you learn English? Um, in other words, did you study the grammar? Have you had any lessons? How did you learn it? Uh, lessons weren't that useful because uh, the, I, I already learned English from YouTube, so uh, I already had the grammar basics. So school was kind of useless and I learned <laughs> everything from uh, from video games like talking to native people on Fortnite as you said earlier or from simply watching YouTube videos about games or about any other subjects like science or anything else. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's wow. nice. Let me try and see what the other... Have you had any obstacles? Is there anything that might have prevented you from learning English? The, there, have you had any difficulties or anything? The only difficulty I have with uh, with English is, as I said earlier, uh, speaking, because I think I'm going to take an English accent now. I mean, it's actually <laughs> extremely hard to speak, to speak to native people when you're not a native yourself. And I think that's what really make me struggle in learning English because that's something that's really hard even in class where I'm supposed to speak normally and I'm really stressed out even in front of 30 people so in front of 300 I guess we are 200 okay when down it's even worse and I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna die if I just keep talking like that <laughs> no no you're fine and I've said it before as well but you're doing really really well just before I ask you the next question as well, is it a lot better than you expected? I asked somebody else the same question. Normally I, you're very scared I, when you're in actually, stage or when you come up here. It actually, a it's bit way easier. chiller than I thought. Exactly. That's exactly what I've been telling other people as well. It's You're very scared when you're sitting in, in, in the stage with your hand up and you're like, oh, I might get cold, I might get cold. Once you come here and you start talking, it, it just comes so naturally. It's like you're talking to three people, two people, um, me and, and, and Chaiman, and it's, it's just, I'm it's not like you're having a conversation. I'm not talking to people, I'm talking to 100 people. <laughs> well, forget about that, no yes, one else, I'm you don't need to worry about anyone else other than me and Chaiman. Just pretend like you're having a conversation with us and you'll do incredible. Let's see what the next question is. Have you made any friends with native speakers or fluent speakers or anything like that? I am friend with two native speaker, uh, speakers and one of them is actually in the call but I won't say her name or because she'll <laughs> kill me tomorrow if I say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's, the on that's my only two friends that I've made in real life that are fluent in English. Mm -hmm. But uh, about natives, uh, uh, native friends but in virtual life, I, may, uh, I met some in the game you said earlier, that is Fortnite, once again, because I played it a lot, and I was matched up with a lot of English people, with English natives, so I had to speak with them, and that kind of helped me to learn English. Okay, that's good, that's good. And when you're playing those games, um, how do you feel communicating with those people as well? Are you confident, or do you shy away from talking to them, or how is it? At the first sentences, I'm kind of shy because I don't know who they are and how I have to talk to them. But when I start learning more about them, it's way easier because you know what what you have to say. It's just coming naturally, exactly. and it's when you get it's comfortable just with the person. Like talking to someone in front of you. 
Exactly, exactly. I couldn't agree more. And last question: If you were to give tips to other people that might not, um, might just be starting out in English, might not have as good English skills as yourself, what tips would you give them? How did you learn English? What worked best for you? So, if I have to keep to, no, oh, I think you might have cut out. It might just be me. Mm. Oh, he did cut out. I can hear you, Chan, but I can't hear him. Yeah. Um, mm. Oh, I hope he comes back. Same. Um. Okay, I think he's trying to. He just muted himself and unmuted. We can't hear you, by the way. We just cut out in the middle. Okay, I have. Okay. Oh, uh, raise your hand oh. again, and I will uh, call you right back. I'll, I'll let you go back onto the stage. Let's see. Here, let's. <laughs> Let's hope you didn't have a heart attack on call. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Are you hey, yeah. We can hear you. There we go. We can hear you. <laughs> my mic had a problem. No, no, you're fine. You're you were right. just going to tell us uh, if you had any tips or anything like that. So, that. Oh, no. Oh, Discord. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll I'll tell you what. Why don't we move it back to stage and bring him up, bring him up um, after the next person and see if it's working. Okay. And then you can come and give us some tips. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Discord doesn't want his tips. <laughs> Discord's like, no, we hate your accent. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I love his, his little French accent, though. I like it too. Mm -hmm. okay. You did great combat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Uh. Let's go to. Mima, yay! You're here. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm the one talking about your voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were, Mima. Yes, you were. <laughs> I yes, remember you. <laughs> Nice to meet you too. Good to finally put a voice to all of the comments you've been writing. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm good actually. Oh, well, I'm stressing about school and stuff, but mm. I'm so glad we have the lesson after such a long time. So it's relaxing. And you have Chaiman to thank for it. Yeah. <laughs> he organized everything. So, when you're ready, Mima, just answer those questions and we'll get to know you a little bit better. Yes. Um, well, I'm from Slovakia, uh, that's in mm. the middle of Europe. Uh, no, not Slovenia, Slovakia. We have a <laughs> day to exchange letters sent to the other countries, so yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, my native language is um, Slovakian, or Slovak. Um, um, I learned English, um, I think it was in my kindergarten even, like, I was like six mm -hmm. or nine years old, five, six or five years old, so <laughs> it's pretty uh, early, um, oh, wow. but I didn't really have the proper learning environment let's say um my teacher in high school or before that um really didn't know how to talk how to teach us so oh. it ended with me um watching films or movies um reading books or comics uh and uh anime and manga and stuff and other stuff games and talking to people and that's where i get my knowledge from i think oh uh, <laughs> no, uh, well, did you study grammar? Actually, um, mm -hmm. I have to uh, watch how I write things or how I type things because I don't really remember how they are written, but I can pronounce them. So uh, I had this little trick where I pr pronounce it like it should be written, like orange, you have orange, or orange, well, that's. Um, Slovakian mm. thing, I guess, or mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I took lessons in school. 
on on and here and this Discord chat um server, I guess. Mm. Uh, obstacles. Like speaking to oh. other people and stuff. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, obstacles, obstacles. Well, other than my teachers, um, the lack of grammar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, I have some friends. I'm friends with some native speakers. Um, mm. Or at least I think I made a lot of friends online. And most of the time it's not a question like, um, hey, are you a native speaker? Just to be sure. Mm. <laughs> so, I do know some people. Oh, actually, I went to camp, to English camp. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what helped me as well. And I, they were there. There were native speakers there. So, like, yeah. Uh, mm. Advice. Well, um, are you bored with your? This is gonna be like advertisement, but like a joke. Are you bored with your plain vocabulary knowledge? Well, don't worry. <laughs> Introducing Science Ted Talk on YouTube, when you'll find words, when where you'll find words that you didn't know existed or were possible to pr pronounce in one breath. And that's true. <laughs> Go to Ted Talk on YouTube. But like, uh, what is the brain made of, or something? You'll find things that you didn't know existed. Really. I'm talking from my uh, own experience. I love to <laughs> listen to tech talks. So, yeah. mm -hmm. That's really uh, good. Listening it improves your knowledge on things as well. But I'm not sure what it is that you listen to on TED talks, but um, I know they've got great lessons there, great education material. So that's really good. Um, you learn quite a lot watching those things. Yeah. Did they, did they pay you to come on here and give a little commercial at the end? No, I actually I created it. I have it in my notes written. I was like, okay, I can tell a joke at the end or something. So, uh, I have um, written up. You better images. get it. You better get in touch with them and have them pay you some money because you've just advertised effectively for free in front of over two hundred people. <laughs> get them to pay you some sort of a commission at the very least. Nah, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you okay. have any other questions you can ask me? Um, um, just hmm. thinking. You learned quite young. Now, it could be because I was distracted by the chat, but you didn't mention um, what, what was the reason behind you wanting to learn English so young. Uh, there was um, no particular reason because it was in school, in kindergarten. I was put into right. class and they... It was down in Tata, so, um, but I found a love and interest in, uh, for English um, in hmm. after high school. Okay, so I see. And was there any particular reason for it? Did you watch a movie? Did you listen to somebody? Or you just fell in love with the language? Oh, I'm just trying funny. to get to the bottom of what it is that actually got you excited or got you wanting to learn the language. Different language. It's funny actually because I have three siblings, and if we start talking in English, my parents can understand us. So um, it's, it's that's fun. that's cheeky. That's trying to get away. You can um, talk about anything, and your parents wouldn't have the foggiest of ideas as to what you're going on about with your siblings. That's clever. <laughs> it's like your own little secret language that no one else knows. Yep. <laughs> Well done. I'm guessing you are a teacher in learning? Me? No. No. Not yeah. at all. No, no, no. I'm relatively new to the server. I just... Um, I came to help for one day. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. <laughs> Chaiman, however, is. Um, I think he I does know. lessons quite often. Oh, yeah. I know I'm in this server for some time. Okay. I guess. Yes. She's oh. attended some of my classes. Oh, right, okay. Someone's just asking me to become a... I can't. I don't have the time. Okay, well, like, you have to do uh, ASMR or some podcast. ASMR. <laughs> 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 you have to do something. 
we'll see. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I'll have to see. Yeah. Yes, Ma from Tony. <laughs> you, you have such a nice voice, actually. Thank you. Uh, what accent do you have? I'm English. I'm, I'm half English. Oh, yeah. My father's yeah. from Dubai, but I've lived and grown up uh, all my life here in England. I'm pretty sure we guessed that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there's the fun thing with Europe. Most of the accents mm. are mixed up together when you're talking English. So um. it depends. It depends because oh, in your yeah. so. England in itself. So I've got my accent, right? You can bring up another English person that's from England, from even from London itself, where I'm from, and they could have a completely different accent from me because of um, we've got so many accents, we've got so many variations of the way that we talk. And normally, a foreigner that might not know too much about England, they usually think we all have the same accent or a similar accent. Things that you might see in the movies. Um, but that's not the case at all. We've got so many accents in England. Very true. Um, it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's even the case over here in America. We have like plenty of different accents over here. Like someone from the north will sound quite different from someone in the south. So. Oh, the southern accent. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 we won't talk about that in front of two hundred people. <laughs> Well, bless but your Mima, heart. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a cowboy accent, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you do that? Um, what do cowboys say? God, I've forgotten it now. Yeehaw. Things like that. Howdy. Howdy. There we go. Howdy. Howdy Those sorts of things. It's just <laughs> with a little tip of the hat and everything. It's It's so funny. I never thought those people would actually be real and they only existed in movies, but apparently not, uh, they actually do. I have a sister that lives in Edinburgh. Yeah, so the Scottish accent is very, very, very different um, yeah. to the way that we speak in England. They're all from the UK, but it's still Scottish accents are really nice as well. Mm -hmm. I like Irish ones as well. <laughs> Irish, Irish ones are quite adorable. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like all the I love all the UK accents really. Mm. It depends. You go to Liverpool and you might not like it so much, or Birmingham, for example. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. might not be a fan after all. Uh, but yeah, we we've got so many different accents. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I hope there's no English people on here from Birmingham or from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> um, you all have or... incredible accents. For 181st on. people, I'm sure there are some. You'll hear. I have fingers hear crossed. Them. Nobody. <laughs> any any remarks on my English or on my vocabulary or something? Um, go. very good. I'm just trying to think if it would if I would ask you to improve anything, and I couldn't really think of anything. I think you, you've done well. Incredible. Um, you type well. You speak well. You can communicate well. You've had the confidence to come up here and tell a joke, and not many people would have that. Not many people are more worried about what they sound like, and you're here thinking about telling a joke. So I'm, I'm, you know, um, oh, I, I impressed. Before, I thought before that I'm gonna t going to gather, um, gather what oh, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. to um, gather my all of my extrovert energy and come here. <laughs> You've done well. You've done well. I'm impressed. Well done, you. Thank you. Yes. No worries. Well done. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, you know the person that we had before, uh, the one that almost had a heart attack as Mike stopped working at the end? Mm -hmm. He texted me and said that it does work now, so we can bring him up. Oh, okay. If he's yeah. still here. That's cool. Okay, mm -hmm. so send me a link when you start the podcast. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to be disappointing so many people when I don't do any of that. And someone said, if you have time, come and teach English. I don't think I'll have much time for that either. But me, yeah, I, I agree. She is quite good. She's so confident, Mima. She is. Um, mm -hmm. I can't. You've taught her well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> trying to invite him but it won't let me I want it 
Okay, hold on. Is something wrong with this thing? Hold on. Is he oh. still here? Did you still have oh, his hand? Whoops, up? did I? Did I press the wrong person? Okay, there we go. <coughs> Hello, Black. Hi. Can Hello. You <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you perfectly well. Yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Franz. Um, so, tell us, you tell us your tips. So, <laughs> someone, I'm just reading what someone said. For once and for all, my tips if Discord won't ban me again because I sent a picture in the chat. I no, I won't say any mean words because I know there are some kids right here. Um, are there any tips I can give? I mean, if you really want. To Oh no, you're kidding. This has got to be a joke. It, I'm just there is no way. Yeah. It's, there is no way. That's Discord for you. I, I don't know. It's, there is no way that that just happened again. <laughs> I was like... I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Just... He, he was so happy. And it just cut off again. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, F in the chat, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All those Fs. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I'm sorry. One of these days he's going to come back and tell you his tips. Yeah. Oh, we could... Okay. Please oh. tell me that my <laughs> mic is working. You know what? I know it. Discord hates me. Okay. Uh, no, I just go is, straight to the know, tips. Go straight you know to the what? tips before I, I cut out again. I think I won't even give any tips because Discord hates me. I, I know it. If I, if I start giving my tips, I will die. Try one last time. One last time? Listen there. If it cuts again, I'm leaving... I I'm never coming okay. back once again. Okay. So, my tips! Discord, did you hear me? Tips mm -hmm. for once and for all! Once again. Arr. God. Can you hear me? I, I want you to, to to give me a sign if you don't hear me. Okay? We can hear you. We can hear you. And if you don't hear me, uh, don't really uh, freak out if you see someone leaving the server. But first of all, I read I read some comments on me talking, and some people were saying that I'm speaking way too fast. So, do you want me to speak slower? Just a little bit slower, just for the beginners. But um, a little bit slower, you said. <laughs> not not too slow. We don't we don't need to be a snail. It's fine. Just keep talking. Are you right. sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hungry as well. Sorry, I don't have to say. Tell anymore. us your tips. So, any tips I can give is that if you really want to start learning English, the first thing you can do is neither take classes or just watch YouTube videos, watch film with subtitles so you can train your hearing, you, should, you can train your grammar, your orthograph, anything like that. I think that's the best way to do it. That's what I did and in only three years uh, I was gonna use a French expression, but it, it doesn't work in English. So, I mean, it went well. Is my mic working? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. We just listen to you. It worked. I guess there aren't any other uh, there aren't uh, other tips that I can give. I think they're enough because you don't need to do way too much things to to learn English or, or something. So just stick to the basic. Mm, okay. Good and that's all. Yeah, especially when you're starting out as a beginner. Mm -hmm. well especially we, when glad. my mic is working. Um, uh, yeah, I was just going to say, I'm so glad that your mic is working. We got through it at the end anyway. Yes. Oh, Thank you so you much for coming. Attack, and when I calmed down, my mic was saying, yep, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my mic. Really nice. Appreciate it. No worries at all. Thank you so much for coming. So here. anyway, I'm, I'm going to eat, eat because I'm starving as heck. And I think I'm good. I, I was gonna die not by, out of stress, but out of hunger. I I don't have any things to say. There are actually two people I know in the chat hearing me. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna judge me all the way through tomorrow. <laughs> and they what are you going to eat a baguette? Because actually I'm sweating. 
Thank you. Then you're fine. You're fine, honestly. Don't so uh, I'm just gonna eat and I'm gonna leave you on this. I'm gonna just let you continue your class. Sorry for bothering. No, you and, weren't uh, a bother at all. Don't worry about it. And uh, I can do the French accent the last time if you want to, so I can remind you of Macron, like some of people course. said in the chat. <laughs> and uh, I think yes. that's all I have to say, because no actually. Reason. My my T-shirt went from blue to dark blue because uh, of <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's natural. <laughs> You're a funny man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That's funny. No, no, you're funny. Well done. Thank you for coming up so, and enjoy anyway, your baguette. Uh, have a nice evening or a nice day, depending on when you're on where you are. And uh, 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 remember something: uh, your English is not bad because if you think it's bad, it will be bad. So think it is good. So we'll speak normally. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember that nobody can judge you. And if someone actually judges you, uh, kick them in the head. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you that so was, much, French. Thank you for advice. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave you now because uh, uh, my my life is actually terrifying and uh, my brain is shaking uh, in every uh, way. See ya. You've done so well. Well done. Thank you for coming. Uh, I, and I'm I, glad I, I, there was no heart attacks that you've had in the middle. I uh, I'm gonna make a heart attack when I leave the the, the vocal. <laughs> okay. That's we'll what you don't know. Yourself. I hope so, I hope uh, nothing happens. Fingers crossed that you don't get a heart. I, uh, I <laughs> okay. Oh wow, my bed went from grey to dark grey. It's incredible. <laughs> Everything is changing <laughs> color. Am I color blind or something else? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> you better move it before it turns into something else. Uh, I'm I'm driving crazy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. anyway, thank you uh, for coming. Uh, once again <laughs> for, the, for the 455th time. <laughs> anyway, good luck to the next person. Uh, don't be scared because, as you can see, I was scared that I am not at all right now. Uh, make the French accent, it, it works really well. See, I, I, speaking with French accent is sometimes easy, so use it wisely. Uh, and now I am gonna leave because uh, I am uh, gonna have an AVC like we say in France, and uh, that's all. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> He's a whole character, isn't he? Yes. He uh, is. Is there any special language in Wales? Yeah, they speak Welsh. Um, not that many people do, but there is. It's the Welsh language. They have their own language. Yeah. I don't know any Welsh before you ask me. Um, well, it, Wales, there is a small minority of people that speak French, but um, the vast majority of them now speak English. Most of them don't even know how to speak Welsh. It's a difficult language, but um, there are people that speak Welsh, that speak English and Welsh, but, you know, most of them will speak English. Yeah. Where would you do your passcard if you did not? <laughs> I, w I would never, ever, ever start a podcast. I'm so sorry to disappoint everybody. <laughs> How long will it last? Um, Chi, Chi Man is probably a better person to ask that question. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't really have a time limit today. Uh, for once, I don't mm -hmm. work today, so um, I we could we I'd say I try not I try to keep classes under three hours mm -hmm. three hours 30 minutes um so we have another okay. 60 or 90 minutes really but i do okay. need to we'll see i might yeah i might have to leave in the middle as well but we'll see how long it lasts okay one year later welcome to my podcast guys <laughs> <laughs> okay um i'm also going let's to get the to... next one in yes uh i'm also going to have to cut off the requests um, mm -hmm. in and I'll give it like five more minutes uh, I don't expect us to go through everyone today but like mm -hmm. if you want to speak uh, we might I might like continue this tomorrow but if you want to speak today or tomorrow then raise your hand now because in five minutes I'm going to cut off the list of requests 
So. Okay. Tony looks like you look like James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> this is who I look like. Look where I've just put. That's me, Mega Mind. Big yeah, I saw that movie. earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A friend of mine made that for me, and I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We'll sponsor you, Tony. I thought it was good for a second. No, no, it's Megamind. He's got the biggest forehead out of everybody. Yep. <laughs> okay, let me... But yeah, put your hand up if you want to talk. I need... Okay, so now it's your turn. No, 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 you did not, not like that. I mean, like you have in your stage, not like that. People, like actually on the stage, you <laughs> put your hand up. Kazai has a bigger forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't post gifts. How did you do that? I can't post them. I don't know, I've don't never know tried it either. So scared. No, you sh listen, come on, don't be scared of speaking. You've heard everybody that's come up here, they were scared of speaking, and once they've come up here, they were like, oh, this is so chill, this is so easy, it's much better than I expected. So don't be afraid of, um, don't be afraid of, you know, like you might do something wrong, it's completely fine. Besides, we're all a bunch of fun people, you don't have to worry about us making fun of you at all. Yeah. You need the you can automatically have to bring up Ah, uh, right, okay, okay. Do I not have them? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll get it in next... I'll get it, you know, in a year's time, probably. Tony has made fun of me multiple times. <laughs> 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 I invited someone to come on the stage, but he's not showing up for some reason. So I'll just move on to the next person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sue him. Okay. Then he doesn't know so he can be deposed. <laughs> okay, let's invite you, Laplace. There you are. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. So I was trying to figure out what are the list of the questions that is supposed to answer. Oh, check uh, the They are, yeah, they're pinned in the class chat. Oh, okay. Do you want so... me to tag you? I'll tag you, hold on. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm oh, not. you found right. it? No, no, sorry, I meant, do you want me to tag you so you can find them easier? I've just tagged yeah. you. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. I just got it. Perfect, perfect. Great. Hi. I'm Laplace. I'm not French. I have this name because I was having difficulty with studying math. So one day I told myself I wish I am as smart as Laplace Demon. So I made this to be my name. Um, I'm from originally China. My native mm -hmm. language is uh, Mandarin. Oh, cool. And why do I want to learn English? Because, uh, oh, I hate English so much when I was forced to learn it um, since six years old. Um, because, like, English is one of the required courses back in China. But now I am self motivated because currently I live in the States, so I have to speak English on a daily basis. So. It will be terrible if I could not do it well. Um, mm -hmm. So how did I learn English? Um, so I did take classes, um, like grammar classes, um, where basically just grammar and reading and vocabulary courses um, when I was back in school um, in, in China. Um, but that actually does not work very well because um, because I remember, like, after I get off the airplane in Los Angeles, um, I feel so confused because, like, I do not understand everything. Um, so that definitely did not work very well. I think talk to my friend actually helped me a lot. Um, and what obstacles... 
some uh, so I, I actually have several obstacles that I'm currently facing um, sometimes when I talk to uh, my advisor who is like an Australian people mm -hmm. um, so um, he I don't know why like sometimes he just have problem with identifying um, the word um, that I'm trying to say I think uh, I think I actually have some very minor, but um, it could be become a huge obstacle for people to understand me while I'm trying to pronounce some word. Um, I think I am having some difficulty with identifying the word, um, you know, the vowels that people are trying to say. Um, like, I cannot hear the difference um, between me pronouncing some vowels, like, or something like that you know like there's a couple of different ways to pronounce a in English and um, mm -hmm. people tell me that it sounds different but I could not really tell the difference and I could not really um, pronounce it out um, so I think that's something I would really like to um, get improved and also um, while I am speaking it's really hard for me to think about um, how to correctly do the conjugation of the words um, according to the tense and um, single plural, things like that. So um, I need to think really hard um, to be able to get it right. So that's another thing. Um, and also because um, the quarantine thing is still um, kind of there um so sometimes i do not actually get to talk to a lot of um native speaker which actually um brought brings my um english skills back because i do not get time to um practice it so i definitely want to keep practicing it um i did make a lot of friends um with native speaker um, the problem is now I am become a senior part of the university so that a lot of the native speakers, they're like my underclassmates. When they talk to me, they know something I did it wrong, but because like the, the social status is a little bit different now. So a lot of them will not point out my problem. Um, and I mm -hmm. want I want to be corrected um, if I made any mistake. So um, that's also one of the motivation why I'm seeking um, extra practice. And if I have any advice for other people who want to learn English, I think it's definitely um, to get exposed in that English environment. Um, like you should probably just um, push yourself to talk and think in English. Yeah, I that will agree. definitely help a lot. I agree. Yeah. I completely agree. Push yourself and force yourself almost to, to learn, to get better, to talk to people, um, to communicate, to improve yourself. And you're going to do it. Your tolerance is going to go higher and higher and higher. And then one day you're just going to wake up and you're going to be like, oh God, you're going to thank yourself for pushing yourself back when you were younger. And the younger that you start, the better it is. So whatever age that you're at at the moment, just start. Don't wait. Don't wait for something to happen. Um, or don't wait for, oh, maybe when I get a job, I might travel to a different country and then I might learn English better. Just start right now. Start today. And in a month's time, in three months' time, you're going to look back and you'll see such an improvement. Um, yeah, what, exactly what you said. Push yourself and force yourself to learn. And that way you're going to uh, improve yourself. Yeah. And also, I think a very fun um, thing that I observed many years ago is um, one time I was dreaming in English. And mm -hmm. I think like that's my threshold of like, <laughs> I can't really think in English after that day. Mm -hmm. 
So that's good. That's good. Okay. Very good, teams. Very well done with the way that you just went over all of those questions. Um, impressive. Well done. Someone mentioned in chat, and I just want to relay the question back to you because you might not have seen it. Someone said that you mentioned that you were Chinese, but your accent sounds a little bit American. Is there a reason for that, or...? Oh, yes. So, um, I think... Um, I actually talked about this with my friend before, um, because I told her that I think I do not, my pronunciation doesn't really sound like Chinese people speak English. Um, it's totally because um, when I, the first time when I came to America, um, I could barely speak English, so that I've been, um, trying to mimic how people are speaking like surrounding me um so i'm just like trying really hard to copy what other people say and to incorporate that part into my um speech um so that my friend actually mentioned that when i encounter some some word that I never heard anyone say that before. I start to, I tend to make a pronunciation um, that sounds neither like Chinese accent or American accent is something totally random that I do not know how to process it. So. Mm -hmm. No, that's completely fine. I'm sure you've answered the question of the person I wanted to know. Yeah, but basically the question um, is because I do not really know how to speak English, so I actually just grab whatever thing that I have heard from the environment that's surrounding me. And I used to get really addicted to watching Doctor Who, and when I was watching <laughs> Um, my friends start to think I I start to incorporate a little bit British accent into my mm -hmm. um, language so people start to feel confused about like oh have you lived in um, in England, in England. before mm -hmm. yeah and I was like oops no it's probably yeah. just because I watch too much Doctor Who yeah when you watch stuff you can almost it's a bit like um you know when for example if you were to go and, <clears throat> excuse me if you were to go and live in england and you studied in england <clears throat> excuse me god if you studied in england and you communicated with english people and you surrounded yourself around them you will very slowly no matter what your age is very slowly you're going to start um imitating them you'll start picking up on their accent um, and it'll improve your accent as well. It'll become a similar accent. It, it happens not just in England, but regardless of where you go, the people that you will surround yourself with, you're going to start learning from them. You're going to start picking up on their way of speaking, their mannerisms, everything. Um, there's this famous quote, I'm sure everybody's heard of it, but you are the product of the people that you surround yourself with. And it's so true. And it doesn't always have to be the people you surround yourself with. You can watch TV shows, like you've mentioned, you've watched so much of Doctor Who that you've started to pick up the English accent. That's, that's a great way of learning as well. You don't always have to go and travel to a different country to do that. You can simply watch a TV show and you can learn the way they speak. You can learn... Um, their mannerisms and everything like that, their way of talking. And that doesn't cost you anything, because normally people think if I want to learn a language, I might have to travel, I have to meet those people, but you don't. Just watch the TV shows, watch the television, watch podcasts, listen to YouTube channels uh, from that, you know, um, YouTubers from that country, uh, yeah. listen to audiobooks and things like that. So you can do it in so many ways. Yeah, you can immerse yourself anywhere, really, and the comfort of your own home, even. Like, you don't have to go out and, you know, exactly. go to a different country. I mean, it can, it, like, if you if you put yourself in an environment where you will have to use language, that can help, but you don't have to do that. You can just immerse yourself at home. So. Yeah, definitely. 
I totally agree with that. Mm. Really good advice. Uh, what question cool. are you on? That was it. She oh, gave her okay. tips and everything. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that went by. <laughs> that went by flying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me who learned English purely to understand memes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel that um, though I have been staying here for a while, mm. um, I still feel um, it's hard for me to um, understand a lot of things um, because I do not, I feel it is probably because I do not grow up here, I do not share the same context with a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. So it took me um, longer to understand certain things they were talking about. Mm -hmm. And I hope one day um, I can do it better. And um, I recently I start to um, read some book. Um, also very elementary book. My um, the book I found is very um, very suitable for my current English level. Um, is called the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I love it. Um, it's simple and. Um, the story is fun, mm -hmm. so um, and I, and there are some words that I do not recognize from the book. So, it's really awesome to kind of enjoy it and learn it at the same time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can always find the meaning of the word, and you're going to be improving your uh, vocab and everything like that. No one wants like. If you know, if you're reading the same things over and over again, it's not really going to help you improve. Um, it might help you with your, you know, remembering skills and things like that. But if you want to actually learn, then you should do exactly what you're doing. Read something where it's got things that you might not understand completely. And then you'll read a paragraph or a line and you'll be like, oh, what's this about? I don't know what this means. You'll search it up. You'll remember it because you've done the research and things like that. And then it will help you improve your English. It will help you improve your understanding of the language and, and things like that. So um, that's also a very good tip. Yeah. And after I read um, some words, um, mm -hmm. because if you read a book, I think um, every book have has a theme. So... Um, certain word um, that I do not recognize will repeat the um, reappear in the book so that mm -hmm. it just keep coming back to me and I will I do not need to pay a lot of attention in remembering it um, mm -hmm. but instead uh, it just I just get it in a very natural way yeah that, that's exactly what happens as well. You get used to it then. You, you don't have to think about it or anything like that. I would assume now you can read a book without going like, what is this word? Like every few words, you don't have to search up the meaning for it. You just, it just happens naturally. You just read it as, as a native language almost. Like you would with your native language, sorry I meant. Um, but yeah, yeah. It, it's a skill. It takes practice, obviously. It doesn't just come overnight. You're not just going to wake up one day and you'll know everything. It, it takes time to learn and it takes practice. Same with communicating with people, not just reading, but you know, coming up here and talking to people or just talking in general, in real life, on Discord, anywhere. It takes practice. And if you're, if you're too shy to do it, if you're too scared to do it, if you don't want to go out of your comfort zone, it's going to be incredibly hard for you to be able to ever do it because you don't push yourself. So do push yourself. I, was it you that said push yourself? Sorry, I, there's been so many people <laughs> up here. Uh, I've got confused, but whomever said push yourself and you know do things that you are comfortable with, that's a really good advice. Just go out of your comfort zone. And the great thing about Discord I was mentioning earlier is no one knows what you look like. No one knows your name. No one knows, unless you obviously put your profile picture and your name on there, but <laughs> there is a possibility to be completely anonymous without anyone knowing anything about you. And if you mess up, 
then no one knows who you are. It doesn't really matter at all. So go out of your comfort zone. It's a great way of meeting people, communicating, improving yourself without having to worry about someone might link you together. So if you were to mess up um, in person in front of 200 people, that would be so embarrassing. But if you come up here and you mess up in front of 200 people, it's fine because as harsh as it sounds, by the time you're gone off, usually most people aren't going to remember you unless you're the Frenchman, um, who was <laughs> relatively funny and he made a spectacle of himself, so we remember him. But it's all right. It, it's okay to make mistakes. It's completely fine. You're completely anonymous here, so don't worry about it. Push yourself and go out of your comfort zone, and then you'll be able to do it in real life as well. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Lapis. Is it, is it Lapis? Laplace? How do I say your name? Laplace? What was it, sorry? Um, I usually just pronounce it as Laplace. Um, Laplace, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Laplace is like, uh -huh. uh, no, Laplace is from like the Laplace equation, the Laplace mathematician, <laughs> the Oh, okay. Laplace as an operator, but anyway. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. Well done. Thank you for coming up here. Should good lessons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Okay, let's see. I might only be here for about two, maybe three people if we're pushing it. Okay. And then I'll have to jump off. All right, that's fine. But thank you so much for... No, of course, of course. Okay. There you are. Uh, you didn't. Uh, yeah. Hey! So... Hello, right, Garfield. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, does my mic sound too low or too no, high? No, no, it's perfect. No, it's, it's fine. It's just, just perfect, yeah. So um, I'm from I'm from Italy. Uh, mm -hmm. My native language is uh, Spanish, or well, I'm from Latin America. How say it? Oh. Wait a minute, I have it. Uh, uh, American Latin American Latin American yeah. Uh, one back. So from so from America. Okay. Uh, and so I don't I don't know. Oh, should oh. I should I ask you the question? Really? You found the questions. <laughs> no, it's okay. Right now, sorry. No, 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 you, no. You're completely fine. What we'll do is, I'll ask you the questions and then you answer it. Just pretend like it's me, you, and Chairman in here, nobody else. Okay? Just the three of us having a conversation. Um, so you've told us where you're from and your native language. Tell us why you want to learn English. Um, to learn English because my family doesn't speak English, and mm -hmm. uh, I. I use well. I I used to watch uh, videos on YouTube which says really uh, swear, uh, swears uh, mm -hmm. or mean words. Okay, let's put it in that way. And mm -hmm. so my family is, is always like, "Hey, don't do that. Don't do. Don't watch those videos. You you, you will say that those words and everything." Okay, so mm -hmm. my was. Hey, let's learn a language they don't they don't know. So English. <laughs> <laughs> you did something similar to another person and that came up, and they wanted to talk to their siblings without their parents finding out. So <laughs> you learned the language so you could watch those uh, videos with swear words and bad words and yeah. things like that without your family knowing. <laughs> <laughs> but now the problem is that my mother is taking cla is taking English classes, so uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. now she's gonna so, know. Oh, maybe, so maybe it will push you to learn another language. <laughs> <laughs> it's my time to learn French. French I, is I really good. French. I I 
for I only know how to say uh, Je m'appelle Garfield, comment ça va? Je <laughs> bien merci. Ça va, ça va. <laughs> That's certainly more than I know. Well. Let's see. Um, <laughs> what's the next one? And how did so you've said how you didn't tell us how you learned English actually. I know you told us why you learned English, but how did uh, you learn it? Was it did you study the I, grammar? Did you have lessons, YouTube videos, movies? Uh, I started uh, learning English when when I was in a uh, elementary school. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so basically I when when I was wait how much? <laughs> it was 10 years I started learning English, mm. I think. Okay, 10 years ago. Long time. It was uh, on a school level, so it was just uh, the teacher played the mm. audio which said, Okay, now I'm gonna repeat this for two times, okay? Do you know how to mm. say two? <laughs> or something like that, okay? Yeah, like very basic stuff to start off with. <laughs> it was basic. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I don't think I learned much uh, on, in in a, on a speaking level. I didn't learn mm -hmm. as a school. I learned uh, in the, on Discord to speak English, or well, Cambridge classes or mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Um, in school, I only learned the grammar because uh, my teacher was really um, how can I say it? It was really pretend. Um, it was really demanding. I suppose it is. Yeah. Uh, so she wanted us to be perfect on the grammar, and so mm -hmm. I, I still don't don't know the grammar, but don't, I don't know how to write things. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, that's my problem. Okay, all right. And what sort of obstacles, difficulties um, might you have faced while trying to learn the language, if any? Well, I think my my problems were were are <laughs> still are mm -hmm. the um, the rules of English. How to you how you should write your mm. your okay. Your sentences and so how to be grammatically correct. Yeah, sentences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also the vocabulary. Right, okay. Uh, the, yep, but, that's understandable. Yeah. For someone that's just starting out and things like that, those are the things that you would have difficult uh, difficulty with. So I understand. Yeah. Okay. And um, would you have any, sorry, just before that, actually, do you have any friends, native speakers that you might have met on Discord, gaming, anything? Do you have any native speakers that are your friends? Uh, yeah, I, I, I have, but I simply um, keep the conversation on, I smile like an idiot, and uh, they respond uh, slowly in English, okay, thank you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or something like that, because... I don't speak well. Bah, never. No, it's all right. <laughs> I mean, the most important thing I think is to be able to understand the person you're speaking to, and for them to be able to understand you. If you can get that, you know, thing sorted, then I don't think it's that big of an issue. Um, as long as the two people understand each other, <clears throat> that's all that matters. Anyone can come up to me, and even if their English is not perfect. As long as I understand them and they can understand me, that's that's it. Like that's all we need to be able to communicate effectively. Sorry, my voice is going. Hold on. Okay. God, um, I think I've been speaking too much. And do you have any advice for people that are wanting to learn English? Video, they just video, out. and video. Mm. Watch lots of lots of videos. Um, subtitles and no subtitles. With subtitles and also without subtitles. I started mm -hmm. watching uh, uh, when I was in that period. Like, okay, I have to come out with a language that they don't know, so they won't tell me any. They won't tell me nothing if they say something rude. And uh, I came out with Smithy. I don't know if someone knows that. But I really li like him because sometimes he puts subtitles on his own, so 
that really helped me out. And uh, yeah, I really recommend watching YouTube videos or also like other people say it before me, watch serious uh, mm -hmm. movies you like in English. Uh, I I recommend also cartoons. I don't I don't remember if someone said it, but I, yeah, I, someone did also cartoons because they've got very simple English in them. And uh, no, nothing much. Okay, no, those are good tips. Uh, a few people have mentioned the same thing, and um, I know that that helps. I know that helps a lot of people watching stuff and and learning that way. It, it's easier um, because you don't have to talk to real people. Almost uh, it takes away the pressure of it, the um, social anxiety, if you will, because you're just you're sitting behind a screen and you're doing effectively the same thing. But it, it's a lot better if you can do it in person, obviously. But if not, then that's a great starting point to watch movies and to watch TV shows and um, YouTube videos and all of that. Good tips. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Of course. I, I was thinking why I don't remember what, when you said it. That you can just enter in a voice chat and just starting speaking there. So... Like I, I never enter in this server in voice chat. This is my first time mm -hmm. here. I, I was gonna say, aren't the classes? Which I, well, no, I, I think that is just question. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave and leave space to other people. Sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. What was your question? I didn't understand the question or anything. Sorry. No, that um, like the um, voice channels are classified in beginners intermediate oh, so right. i i i suppose that every yes i don't know why i see like that yeah no no yeah so they're all classified uh, for this you know sake of people so for example if you're a beginner uh, it would be very hard if you were to go into an intermediate chat and you start hearing those people speak very fast and you don't understand anything and then if you want to talk you might not know the best English. So the, I think the reason that they are separated is, is to make it easier for you. So if you're a beginner, you want to go into a voice chat with other beginner people so you can communicate with them, you can talk about your difficulties, learning the language and things like that. But you can always, you don't always have to abide by the rules. So for example, I have seen many beginner English people going into chats that are for fluent people or intermediates and amateurs and things like that. And the reason they go in that is so that they can get a bit of experience to hear those people talking and see how they talk, to try and see if they can maybe understand them, to try and see maybe if they can have a com um, conversation with them. So don't worry too much about that. That's only uh, as a guide to help you to make sure you're going into the right channels and not ending up somewhere where you might feel um, like it's too daunting to unmute yourself and to talk. But there's... Um, Chaiman, he does a lot of lessons, I think, here. Um, this is the first time that I've ever seen it because I'm relatively new to the server, but um, you can come into the lessons, you can go to, into those beginner voice chats, you can go into any voice chat, really, to listen to people and to talk, and no one's going to tell you off for not being able to speak English properly, or no one's going to say that you're in the wrong channel. Everybody's very friendly here, at least the people that I've met. Things that I've, people that I've come across, they're very friendly, very welcoming, so don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah don't worry. Um, yeah. Thank you for Bottom line is, don't you worry about it. Here, it was really nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye. Of course. I'll oh, take care, Garfield. Look after yourself. Okay. <laughs> Another person that might be having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... There yeah, you hello. Go. hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Welcome. So. In. Yeah, thank you very much. So I will just right. start answering questions. Before you do, so tell I've... me how to pronounce your mm -hmm. name. I just want to make sure I plan to write. Um, I doesn't have pronunciation, I guess. I just make it. It's just Nin. But like, it just Nin? Yes, or Nina, okay. my real name, that's fine. Like, Nina, alright, <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, yeah. When you're ready, Nina. 
Yeah, yeah. So I'm from Slovakia, so my native language is Slovak. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, so why I want to learn English? I mean, I didn't want to learn English, I just learned from shows, TV shows. I mean, I have like English in school, but I basically never learned it there. I don't know why, just it doesn't work for me in school. I just start watching the, uh, shows in English and it can happen. So I was able to understand English. Uh, and then I was like, join some servers. So I start speaking with people. I can become friend with them and I want to talk with them. Like, so basically uh, because of friends and it's really good for job too. Like when I know more languages it's better for me find job um well actually, yeah there's a lot of things like i couldn't learn english I s- my english is still terrible so basically everything was obstacle <laughs> um and yes i have a few friends like native speakers yeah <laughs> i like from british yeah, yeah he's british so yes, I have a few friends like who are like native or speak fluent. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so. Okay. I think I don't know what to say more. <laughs> so maybe questions. No, no, it's fine. Um, let me ask yeah. you this then: Did you have any like obstacles, any difficulties, and things like that while trying to learn the language at all? I mean, the problem was like grammar. That it's always mm-hmm. problem for me. I don't know why if I teach it, learn it wrong way, or I don't know, I just always was in school, it doesn't work, absolutely no, I don't know why I couldn't learn anything in school, like if I wasn't start watching shows, I basically, I'm not here, I'm not speaking, because this, my English is basically from TV series, movies, so that was start. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm trying to learn grammar, but still can't fan find my way how to learn it properly so I'm kind of still lost. <laughs> okay, okay. What about the tips that everybody else has been given and things like that like watching movies and uh, TV shows and stuff have you tried things like that maybe to improve um, your grammar maybe reading I think that's a good way uh, of doing it as well anything you can get your hands on read read and read. Yes like now uh, like now I like really focus on that what they are saying in movie and how or when I'm reading so I try to focus like how the sentence is right so I think it's kind of better now but still is complicated I mean sometimes I don't know like sometimes I do mistake and people say me like you did mistake and I read it and I, I know why I did that mistake like I know that grammar rule or something like that but I can't use it like in practical way that things I know so I still doing missing even uh, mistakes even I know the rules so I yeah, still can understand that that's all right though uh, with experience and with time you're going to improve on that talking yeah. to people and writing down and things like that so don't expect to be perfect so soon it yeah. takes time to you know get used to it all but um, yeah, just just focus on, just keep on doing it and do it as much as you can. The reading, the writing, talking to people in text, speaking, <laughs> as long as you're doing all of that, believe me when I say naturally, that's going to improve. Uh, it's going to only get better on from here. The more you do it, the better you're going to be. So do it as often as you can um, and you'll be fine. Don't worry about it at yes, all. I don't. Yeah. I mean, mm. first when like it's... looking for how to improve, and there was like reading, watching, listening, and mm. speaking, and I was like, okay, speaking, that's probably not going to work. I don't. <laughs> speak. Like, I'm a really quiet person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't speak mm. at all in my language, and like when I have to speak like with uh, people I don't know in English, like not my mm. native language, so I was really not. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Well, but you've done it now with slowly. almost 150 yeah. people in front of 150 people. So I'd say that's a great start. Yes, I'm actually I was here uh, in this server, so I had in few classes. Yeah. So mm-hmm. actually, it's not so problem now. It was problem from start. I thought I oh, like good. dying in the process. <laughs> good, good. Okay, I got you. So I got you. it's right. get better. Like I now yeah. now speak like really 
often I find some friends who we speak in English and my family make fun of me like I speak in English more than in my native language. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yes. good though. You can. You'll yeah. start thinking in English. You'll start dreaming in English, and yeah, I've, actually, I've heard yeah. that once you start dreaming in English, uh, or, or the language that you're learning, that's when you know that you're, you know, getting to the point of fluency, um, because your mind is now thinking in English. It's acting in English. You're doing everything in English. Normally, now I don't know if this is the same case for everybody, and maybe somebody can tell me here. But if you speak two languages. Um, you usually think in your native tongue, um, unless you've obviously become very fluent in, in the other one. Um, yeah. Normally you think, so for example, if I say, um, Nina, how are you? You would first think, of, well, okay, maybe that's a too simple of a question, but if I asked you a question, yeah, I mean, you'll think of, you'll translate means, the question in your native yeah. language, and then you'll bring it out back into English, which is so clever. It, it's so mind boggling to think how quickly you can translate back and forth. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, like, I speak, like, basically English more than my native language, so oh. it happened to me, like, I was speaking with my Slovak friend, and I asked for her in, in English. <laughs> like, she mm -hmm. normally asks me something in Slovak, and I asked for her in English, and I was like, what yeah. I'm doing? <laughs> and they're probably oh, looking at you like, yeah. what? What did you just say? You're not <laughs> English speaking um, Slovak. Yeah. 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 And there's other <laughs> friends like from Czech Republic, but we can kind of understand each other and we sometimes speak in English and we just like stop. Oh, wait, why are we speak in English when we can understand each other in all languages? <laughs> mm. So, yeah. yes, it's happening. Like, but that, that's the nice. The problem though, is that's... like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. I was just going to say it's nice that yeah, you, can, I mean, you know, all yeah. of you can improve your English and things like that together while doing it. Yeah. I mean, I have a problem. Like, I understand, like, in mm -hmm. school I had to, like, translate or learn myself from English. Mm -hmm. So I understand when I read or when I listen. The problem is when I have to speak or write, then there is, like, hell. <laughs> a lot of mistakes. Uh, pronunciation is terrible. Uh, grammar, too. So it's just speaking and grammar I won't, like, now improve. But it's kind of hard for me. Mm, no, but you're doing so well, then, so that's good. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Mm, I speak a bit of German. <laughs> <laughs> and would you have any tips for people wanting to learn English, or maybe they might be just starting out? Um, or just any tips in general, really, for people that want to improve themselves? What worked best for you? Yeah, I would just say don't be afraid like speak mm -hmm. or, or texting with people that was problem for me but when I like mm -hmm. uh, start to talk and speak it's going a little bit better so I would suggest like don't be mm -hmm. afraid or I mean I was still saying or I'm still <laughs> saying it but my English really bad so I would say don't speak like this I mean you still learning it, it will go improve mm -hmm. There's certainly uh, yeah. room for improvement, but I wouldn't say that it's really bad at all because, again, I've mentioned it before, you can communicate with us and we can communicate with you. You understand the things that are coming out of your mouth, you understand the things that I'm saying to you. So we can have an effective uh, conversation. Um, so it's not bad English at all. It would be bad English if you said something and I didn't understand what, what you were speaking about or if I said something and you had no idea what I was saying then I might say, okay, there's a lot of improvement that you can do. Now, for you, there's still, you know, significant improvements that you can make in your um, English skills and things like that, but you can communicate and that's that's so much better than most people already. So keep doing what you're doing, but um, the other people that are listening in as well, she mentioned how when she first started, um, Nina, you mentioned how when you first started you were so afraid of speaking and things like that, but now even though you are still a little afraid, you're not as afraid. That thing has gone away and the reason for that is because you pushed yourself. You went out of your comfort zone and you pushed yourself to talk to people. And because you did that, your tolerance has now gone up. You might not be able to sit in real life in front of 200 people and talk to them, but at least it's a lot better than what it might have been, I don't know, when you first started, for example. And 
the more you delay it, the later in your life that you're going to be able to come to the stage that you want to come to. So start as soon as possible. Start as soon as you can. I mean, when I first like go in the stage, I thought like, okay, I will raise hand. I I don't think I will go to pick, but I get picked. So I was like, what now? <laughs> <laughs> what now? But I was just trying con continue speaking. I, I I really don't remember what was I speaking, or I actually really don't remember. And I just was trying to speak and still speak, 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 <laughs> no matter what. And that's kind of work, I guess. Yeah. No, but you know. You've come up to the stage, you've talked and you've gotten all over with. Um, a lot easier, isn't it? Once you're done with it, it feels so much easier. It feels um, as if like, oh, why did I even worry about it in the first place? It's just like you're having a normal conversation. Yes, exactly. I mean, this place is really great. Like people try to help like, and encourage you. So this is really great. That's helped me a lot. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. You should all come more often to the, you know, Chaiman's classes and stuff. He does classes. I think yeah. you're going to be doing them more often, I assume, now. I think they might have gone off for a little while. Someone mentioned them. And now they've come back. But, you know, are you doing one tomorrow I mean, as well? I think you mentioned. <laughs> I think I will join if I will have time because I have, like, exam and yeah. Tuesday as well if I will have time. No, no. I will I mean, join. That's understandable. That's understandable. But I think yeah. he said that he might... Um, I think it's the same time tomorrow. Now, I'm not sure. You'll have to ask um, Jim yeah. and he'll tell you. Same time. Is it the same time? Yes, yeah, so it's the same time. Yeah. The, the time that we started today, he'll be doing the same. I won't be here for tomorrow. I probably won't be here for a long time to come. But um, it was nice. I am going to have to go now as well, Jim. So you're going to be all alone. That's okay. Um, <laughs> it's really nice talking to all of you, especially all of the people that came up on the on the stage and stuff incredible talks good job everyone very nice to know yeah, you i mean it's great i don't like, have you meet a lot of people so yeah I, yeah, like, yeah. I, I wanted to meet more people i wanted to see people and stuff and talk to them and this is incredible thanks for letting me come on as well uh Chiman. i appreciate it no problem thank you for helping uh, no worries at all take care everyone the class is still gonna go on it's just me leaving bye 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 bye, -bye. so thank you for let me hear. Oh, <laughs> so no it was problem. really great. No problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, I have to go and use the restroom, so I'll be right back. <laughs> oh god. Okay.
Hey, if I do Portuguese? No, no, I, I don't speak Portuguese, actually. I wish, but I don't. But, anyway. Um, jump scare, right? <laughs> don't play the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Those games are filled with jump scares. I wasn't even trying to, like, do... <laughs> I wasn't even trying to surprise people. But... But yeah, I'm glad you all liked Tony. He was such a good help. I, I barely said anything. <laughs> it's because, like, I don't know. Like, whenever multiple people are on are talking with me on stage or whatever, or during the stream or whatever, I usually don't say anything because I'd rather just listen. <laughs> like, that's fine. Oh, that would be helpful, Eden. Thank you. I'm about to end... I think this will be a good time to end class anyway, because... Like, according to my list, I have, like, four, 43 more people. Um, we can finish this up tomorrow. And don't worry, I have the list saved, so if you come back tomorrow, I'll just pick, I'll just start from where I last was. Because I'm actually getting kind of hungry, too. But I'm glad you guys had a chance to have class again. I know you all have been missing these classes because... Yeah, we teachers have just been going through quite a number of things, you know, like the rest of you. <laughs> that meme. <laughs> I need to go and find the origin of it. <laughs> this is too funny. But yeah, I liked all our guests here. Will everyone pass tomorrow? No, they'll all fail. No, they're all failures. No, I'm kidding. But, but yeah. If you are on this list, please come back tomorrow, same time. Um, I'm not even going to bother putting in the stupid UTC offset. I just suck with time zones. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to like put like the info on the class calendar and, and the, the thing will just convert the time zone you, <laughs> itself. I'm just not going to bother with that. I just suck with time zones. But anyway, um... Yeah, if you are on this list, just come back tomorrow and I'll just start from where I last was. Um, and if we have time, I'll, I'll add more people. Um, but anyway. I hope you guys perform more classes. Oh, I hope so too. But thank you. A to Z. L M N O P Q R S T U V. Take it, which I actually plan to have a uh, a class on the English alphabet because why not? <laughs> are there many classes where there only twenty? Where there are like only twenty to forty people? Um, I don't think so. Well, there probably are. I don't know. It's just like, I don't think we really do. We really have like a fixed class size on this server. Whatever we get is whatever we get. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you all learned from the brave non-native English speakers who came up. But to... Um, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. And don't worry, yeah, thank you for reminding me, actually. I do have a YouTube channel, and I will post the recording here um, very soon. I'll just do it, like, right after this lesson. Um, and, yeah, you guys, if you guys missed any of this class or, or whatever, I can just post it there. Here, let me... Let me, um... All of you and your heart attacks, you aren't Demi Lovato. Come on. You're stronger than that. Oh, I, I didn't mean to imply that Demi was weak, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Now I feel bad. Okay, never mind. Anyway. <laughs> but, and, um, I did not mean to imply that. Demi's awesome. Let's see. I'm trying to find the... Where is it? Oh. Hold up. 
I'm still looking, hold on. See, I feel bad, but I, I, like, I didn't mean to, like, let Tony, like, speak to the entire thing, basically. Because, like, he, his voice became dehydrated, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I accidentally cussed. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, here, yeah, hold on. Let me find... Okay, here's my... There's my... The link to my channel. Let me just post it. Swear equals ban. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh yeah, here's my channel. You're welcome. You are welcome, Nello. Hello, Nello. Oh, no problem. But yeah, I do plan to have classes in the future. See, See, I would have had more classes, but I had another channel where I was basically, like, doing video game streams. And I'm just tired of doing that. I, I'm just so tired of doing that. So after this week, I will not be doing it anymore, for the most part. So that will just give me more time to do classes here. Because I have missed having classes here with you guys. And I know you guys have missed having classes here with me and other teachers as well. I know a lot of you miss Alan G and Maggie and, you know, Demonade. But, but yeah. Oh, and, but yeah, we'll continue this tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have a class. I was going to do it tomorrow, but that's, but I'll just move it to Wednesday. Wednesday, we are going to have, on Wednesday, we are going to have a class where you guys get to learn some internet speak. So, so things like LOL and ROFL and LMAO and cringe crap like that. So, so look forward to that. <laughs> WTF, right? <laughs> KEKW, SMH, just SMH. But anyway, uh, hold on. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm about to eat it. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I will... A ratio... Well, that's basically like a fraction that represents... Like where you're just comparing the quantities of two different things. And it's... I'd have to... That, that's... That is... I'm, not, I'm sure that's not the best explanation. I'd have to think about that. But anyway. The slang one. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I don't even have I, I don't even think I've heard of that. But who knows? I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Like, there are some slang terms that I don't even know about. But I will teach you guys all this stuff later. YOLO. <laughs> right, let me just go ahead and stop the recording.